remember, <laughs> remember when I said I was gonna um, get a tattoo for the DoorDash challenge? The time has come. Um, I've been walking around a little bit and doing some off-camera inquiring and um, I'm um, at this place here, let me show you. I did talk to them a little bit earlier, but here it is. We're getting a tattoo. I'm getting a tattoo. <laughs> Oops, wrong door. So this is a nice place. They're very friendly. Very helpful right away, welcoming. Hi, um, what's your name? My name is Jeremy. Jeremy, awesome. So Jeremy here is gonna be doing my tattoo. He's been working on um, sketching it out. We talked a lot about it. He did a great job like making sure I was okay with everything and now we're gonna get going. Wish me luck, guys. <laughs> what do you like to fish for? Uh, I fish for trout, uh, bass. I do a lot of bass tournaments. But trout is my favorite, especially because I fish in the cold. I love the winter time. Is it like rainbow trout? or? Yeah, rainbow trout, nice. brown trout. Here it is, guys. <laughs> He did an awesome job, great conversation, like super easygoing, gentle, like like comfortable, awesome. Highly recommend Jeremy. Guys, make sure you give her a follow, watch her journey. <laughs> yeah, you can do it, hit that thumbs up button. <laughs> yeah, hit that thumbs up button, guys. <laughs> Yay! So this tattoo was for my DoorDash challenge. I challenged myself to make $1,000 in 10 days, and I told myself if I, and uh, my community here that if I I made it that I was gonna get myself a tattoo. That's awesome. So this you is it. it. <laughs> I did it. Okay, it's the next morning. It's about 7:30, um, and I'm gonna do some door dashing. I'm gonna go live at around noon. So, but I'm not gonna post this, so that'll be yesterday, like, yeah. Anyway, I'm not going live the day this is posting. But today that I'm filming, <laughs> I'll be going live. And um, so I wanna get some door dashing in before. And we get to see Albuquerque. I wandered around a little bit yesterday um, before getting the tattoo, just to check out a couple different tattoo places. And um, I really like what I see so far. So I'm gonna turn the door dash app on. Okay, hi. <laughs> so I, de I just did the live and thank you for everybody for joining the live. That was fun. Um, I'm gonna try to go live weekly. I'm not, I'm not promising that, but I'll, I'll do what I can because it is fun to do um, lives. And it seems like Sunday works out well, um, but I don't wanna commit to a day or a time at this point. I just wanna kind of get in the habit of, of going live. I just finished uh, making the bracelet. I was working on this um, during the live. So I, I think I showed how I did the, I used some gold wire um, to wrap or to make. So I used a long piece of wire and I, I did, um, I, I made these like little, anyway, these are all strung on a piece of wire. And then I just attached it to this bracelet that I already have. That's bright. That's uh, brass, but it looks um, like uh, it matches the gold wire. So that's my, those are my stones from New Orleans. That's kind of fun. Um, and I wanted to show that for you guys, but let's get started on this chili. And in the live, I showed off my new, my new crock pot, but you might be watching this video and you didn't see the live. So um, I'll show that first. I have to grab it though, hold on. Okay, so check this out. <laughs> I was in Target, I was looking for other things and I could not resist. Um, and it's small too, it's like, I think it's two quarts. So yeah, this is my crock pot. I've never used it before. 
I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it'll work out, but I'm gonna make some chili and get that going. So I'm gonna brown the meat um, and then I'll put everything in the crock pot and just leave it on and just hang out for a little bit while it's cooking. I don't know if it'll be four hours or what, but I'm gonna test it out. <laughs> so it looks like it's got these settings of off, low and high and warm. And I'm going to try it in my, um, I have this EcoFlow um, power station. And you can see it's charging right now from the solar panel that I have on the roof of the car. It's getting um, 25 watts. So this will go up, uh, but let's try plugging it in and see what the draw will be. Um, I have this in there now, but it's not on. That's for the lamp that I have, this that lamp. Um, but if I turn this on, then it's gonna be, um, it turns on the AC. So this should be able to work. If I plug this in here, so I've plugged that in there and I'm gonna turn the crock pot on to, let's see what low does. So it's it's pulling 66, it's charging 25, sometimes it's more than that, but it's pulling 66 amps, watts, I don't know, but that I know that that's the number that, that that's the, somebody might know and they can maybe help in the comments, but that 66 is what, is, um, what this is using. And if I switch it to high, um now it's using 116 so and you can hear it just kicked on the battery pack so i'm gonna turn it off um and see how this goes i don't know we'll figure it out but first thing is to brown the meat i'm using um, grass-fed beef this was i believe around six dollars now i'm gonna add this taco seasoning mix um, just in with the beef to kind of season it while it's cooking. So I will point out that um, over here I keep um, like rags and stuff like that, reusable um, napkins and things like that so I can just grab one uh, when I need to, like for the scissors that I opened up the beef with, I can just wipe this off um, and I can use this throughout like the cooking that I'm doing. And then when I'm done, I'll just put it in this middle bag here, which is my dirty laundry um, and just put it in there and then put it back on the shelf when it's clean. So this comes in handy. Instead of using a bunch of paper towels, I have like a lot of these things. I'm gonna use the insert and um, start pouring all the ingredients in here. I think that's the only thing that I need to cook that I got.
doing its thing. Um, I have it on high, but I might turn it down to low. I just want to kind of see, maybe I should start with low and then go high, but I just kind of want to see how hot it gets. I know crock pots generally are like four to eight hours, but this is a smaller one and everything is cooked that needs to be cooked. It just needs to like blend the flavors. Uh, well, I'd like the onions to cook, and then I put that can of salsa, so I kind of want everything to like, yeah, just blend a little bit. But in terms of like being safe to eat, it's safe to eat. So um, I'll just keep an eye on that power pack, and um, I don't need these on. <laughs> I'll just keep an eye on the power pack and um, just see how it goes. So I'll check back in a few with you. Yeah, in the meantime, I'm gonna do my my dish. Um, that had the beef in it. So I'll just show how I use, do that and then my little gray water situation. Basically what I did is I took the, this pan and I put a little bit of water in it from the pitcher, the cooler right there. Um, and then I'm turning it on high just to get the water boiling. All right, that is boiling. So I know the water is, is hot. Um, turn it off. So basically what I do is the towel that I was using kind of to like wipe stuff, I, I use the same towel um, just to kind of wipe stuff down. And it's got that really hot water on it. Um, and I could put a drop of dish soap in there. Um, I didn't, it's on the door and I don't feel like getting out and grabbing it. I should probably have a smaller container in here, but for me, and if things are really clean, like. I'm fine with this. I'm the one that's going to be using these things and I'm okay with, um, that seems clean to me. I used boiling water on it. The beef is a little bit greasier, so, um, usually it, it's not quite as oily. I don't, I want this water to cool down a little bit, but not too much because I want to be able to wipe this off still. So, um, I want to pour this in my, uh, sink over here, which is, um, duct taped onto this pitcher an empty gallon pitcher and I don't want it to be too hot because I don't want to melt the empty gallon pitcher. All right I successfully poured that thing in there and I'm gonna now use the same towel that I was using to wipe this out. So that this meal uh, has a lot of kind of grease the beef um, so So this towel I'll put in my dirty laundry um, to be washed when this bag is full. And now this pan is fairly clean, but um, I'll still do a rinse. Um, another rinse just, you know, to make sure it's really, it's really, really clean. Um, and I'll heat this up again. And that's kind of how I do my dishes. All right, here's the second kind of rinse. I'll turn that off push that around and let it cool down a little bit and then I'll empty that and put this pan away. Okay, I just felt the crock pot and it's getting pretty hot. Um, not too bad, but I want to put something under it. So I added my cutting board to the underneath. So if it heats up at all, it's got these legs. I just didn't want the fur around the bottom. So now um, this little thing comes in handy. This is what I make my coffee on in the morning. Uh, I think this was just like from Ross. It's just like a tree ring but it's got kind of a coating on it, so it's easy to clean. And I put the crock pot on there. See, it's beginning, you can see like the steam happening around here. I'm gonna open it up and just mix it. But that's a good sign, there's a little steam on there. Um, and it's beginning to smell like chili. Um, but it's probably only been, I don't know, it's just beginning to heat up. So, it's working. All right, let's take a look. It's been about 20 minutes and um, it is, it is, uh, it's gone down to 62. I think it was at 89, so it is dropping. Um, so, but it's also really hot. You can see there's steam. Um, I have confidence it'll work out. Um, I won't need to keep it on high after it kind of like gets itself going. Okay, I'm looking, it just dropped way down. It says 16, 16% now. So that's not good. Um, but what I can do is um, turn the car on and 
Yeah, so I think I'm gonna turn the car on and I can charge this with the car. So that's what I'm gonna do, just so I can keep my, um, my chili going. All right, so I've turned the car on, the car is running, and behind here I have um, one of these outlets, um, like a cigarette lighter thing. So I can just keep that in my car and I have the cord running. I have to move it. The cord's not long enough to be able to keep my power station up there, but it's okay. I just moved it here and kind of like propped it up with my strawberry pillows, but you can see it's it's going back up now. It's charging. It charges a lot more running off the car. And I think I'll instead of high, I'll put this on warm. So the car is another option to keep rather than the solar panel. The solar panel is great for like driving around during the day and it's plenty um, to charge up my phone and things like that. Um, but if I have bigger appliances, um, I sometimes need to do this. See, because from the car it gets 100 and it's only putting out 47 now that it's on warm. If I switch it to high like this, now it's drawing more than it's um, pulling from the car. So I want to keep it on low. So I think it should be okay though. It'll just maybe take a little bit longer, but it's getting there. It's getting warm. I think, I think like the crock pot like works great if, you know, I'm hanging out in the car all day and I'm okay like letting the car run. Um, but it was drawing more than I'm creating with it on high. So it's okay. Let's check it though and see how it is. Um, you can see it's like, it's definitely, oh, and I think it's steaming. I saw some steam. Um, yep, there's that steam. So this is good. It's cooking. Uh, the onions are kind of like my cue, these green onions. Once those get soft, I'll probably eat it because I already, I already cooked the beef. I mean, I could leave this for hours and it would probably just get better and better, but I don't want to run into a situation with the battery. So I'm gonna give it a little more time and uh, kind of to do its thing and I'm just chilling. All right, this chili is done. The green onions are cooked and I mean, I'm sure I could just keep cooking it. It would just get better and better, but I think I'm getting hungry, so I'm ready to um, to plate it, <laughs> bowl it. Okay, here's the chili. Now, the toppings. Guess what guys, I found the lime for my tacos, so I'm gonna put some on my chili. More cilantro. And the, the green part of the green onions. Last but not least. Well, I just made a mess, but. <laughs> All right, here it is. Um, so I've been snacking on the corn chips. This is the end of the bag, but there's a couple I can use to kind of scoop. <laughs> it's a little bit messy. Here, we'll do one with the corn chip first. I try to get a little of everything on it. I'm making a big mess over here. Here, you have a bite of the corn chip. So I'm trying to get a bite that's like got a little bit of everything and it's hard, it's very full. So we'll start on the side without the chips, but that's a side with the sour cream. So it got like, here we go.
if you'd like to try. It looks kind of funny. There's a lot of cilantro in there and cheese. I'm going to try it. Mm, it's amazing. It's got a kick. I'm not sure where the kick came from. Maybe the chipotle taco seasoning. And this little bowl is full. Filled to the brim. There's another bite. All that cheese. <laughs> Cheesy chili. And it's dripping. It's messy. There we go. That's a good bite. So here's the thing with the crock pot is that it pulls more than the solar panel can create, um, especially on high. So I think it pulls like 120 and the solar panel creates like 25 or 30 um, input into the battery pack. And then running the car, um, it's about 100, but the crock pot on high still pulls 120. So I think I have the car running right now and the AC on because I'm in the I par where I parked is kind of like in the sun um, and it's kind of hot in here so the AC feels good but I'm also running the car so I could finish cooking it um, and now I'm just letting it charge up a little bit because it's it, it, ran, it got run down um, but it works though and it's nice to have the ability to have so much space in the crock pot like I just have that soup pan. Somebody has asked me what size it is. I think it's a quart, my small little soup pan. But if I want to make more of something, like a stew or chili or um, chicken soup or some chicken and rice dishes, it'll be nice to have that larger size crock pot. Or maybe I want to make some jam or um, like the elderberry t the elderberry syrup. That would be a great thing for the crock pot to have on it have it on low i didn't realize how much it would draw i guess i, I thought maybe it would draw 30 or 40 but it draws 199 on high and like 60 on warm or no on low that's kind of my um crock pot I, I love it and it's so nice to have like i haven't had this taste of chili in a long time i love making chili and it's one of those things that like kind of has to cook for a while also i want to mention that i um I have started a Patreon and a few people have said they've had a hard time figuring out or like how how to get to it. So I'm going to do a screen recording of me going into my YouTube channel and um, hitting on the link, like opening it up for the links and kind of walk through that. And I'll do that right here. And my patreon account is a place where um it's a much smaller group it's a place where i do kind of real-time photos and also um i'll i'm figuring it out but i'll do some lives there as well as continuing to do them on the channel um i love the <laughs> the sunday lives and I'm, yeah i'd like to keep those going but i'd also like to do maybe a monthly live on patreon it's just a smaller group and um just a kind of a different feel with like a really small live um and then yeah, the real-time photos and um, a smaller forum um, for for the community. So there's that, and hopefully that little walkthrough will help people that are interested in joining the the Patreon. Um, it'll show how to how to join. So I hope everybody's had a wonderful day, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and coming and seeing where my tattoo coming with me to get my tattoo. <laughs> I did it. I finished the challenge and um, I did show it on the live, but now you guys, you got to come with me <laughs> retroactively. <laughs> and now you guys know that I'm in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Not sure how long I'll be here for. Um, I'm really enjoying it. It's, I'm not sure I'm able to make quite as much door dashing as I would like, um, but we'll see how that goes. And uh, I'll see you on the next video and who knows where I'll be <laughs> or what I'll be doing but I hope that you continue to enjoy the videos and um, I'm really appreciating the growing channel and interacting with you guys and getting to know your stories if you're new here and watching for the first time um, feel free to subscribe um, I'm uh, we have a growing channel of really amazing beautiful kind-hearted people here and um, yeah please join in the community that's growing if you feel so called um, and you liked this video and you'd like to see more like this. Um, 
and also could you hit that thumbs up button if you like the video um, or got something out of it it really helps me out it helps uh, give me feedback to kind of which videos um, you guys enjoy and or parts of them or things like that and yeah feel free to leave comments down below like what you thought of the chili or the crock pot or maybe some ideas some crock pot ideas because that's exciting <laughs> and I'd love to try one thing I don't know is like crock pot desserts I mean it's possible I could do like pudding or something but I don't know I'm sure there's like a whole bunch of crock pot desserts that I'm not aware of so that's something I'd like to try um, but yeah I hope everybody enjoys the day the evening the morning whatever time it is where you are while you're watching this enjoys the moment <laughs> and I will see you guys on the next one all right take care bye